You probably already know having too much salt in your diet isn't healthy. But if you think subtracting the salt means giving up flavor, think again. Cookbook author and food blogger Pam Anderson joins us now with some tasty ways to help us reduce our sodium intake. Hey Pam, great to have you here. Hello Laura. So Pam, tell us, is it really possible to cut back on the sodium without giving up flavor? Yes, you can and you need to because the 2010 dietary guidelines recommend we Americans cut our salt back to about 1,500 milligrams per day. That's a pretty dramatic jump, but it's pretty easy to accomplish if you do the sun kiss alternative method, and that is using lemons as a substitute for salt because both accomplish the same thing in food. Both heighten flavor, both perk up foods, and there's so much salt in our diet occurring naturally throughout the day, why not pick up that lemon instead and squeeze that on your food rather than picking up the salt shaker? Okay, so you have some great looking dishes in front of you there. Please tell us some of your favorite lemon inspired recipes. I've got my, what I call my roast salmon platter. It's perfect for this time of year, people who are observing uh, fish on Friday, and it's also a beautiful platter for the upcoming spring holidays. You start with a whole side of salmon that you're gonna drizzle with olive oil and a big sprinkling of cracked black pepper. You do the same thing to potato halves, place them cut side down on a baking sheet. Take both baking sheets over to a cold oven, place the potatoes on the bottom oven rack, the salmon on the top oven rack, turn on the oven to 425 degrees. That preheating element is gonna naturally brown and crisp up those potatoes beautifully. And the rising heat is gonna cook the salmon. After about 25 minutes, the salmon's gonna come off on and go on your platter and rest. The, some asparagus is gonna take its place on the baking sheet. About five minutes later, the asparagus and the potatoes are going to emerge from the oven and you're going to create this beautiful platter. Instead of reaching for that salt shaker, grab that lemon half and squirt that over that whole salmon and it really, really heightens the flavor. I also have a caper drizzle that goes on there and that in combination with the lemon, I don't think anybody's going to be asking for the salt shaker. I also like to dress my salads with lemon. I make a highly flavored salad. This one's got roasted peppers, feta cheese, white beans and red onion. Instead of using a dressing, I simply grab the olive oil, drizzle that on, a little cracked black pepper, and toss. After that, I squeeze on the lemon juice, toss again, and it's a beautiful salad. So it seems like the basic idea is we need to put down the salt and pass the lemons, right? Speaking of, of using the lemons, I love using the zest as well. Um, I think it heightens flavor almost as much as the juice. And with the invention of the microplane, it makes it so easy. Simply grate the zest onto the salad, and it's almost like, like using pepper, and it adds so much flavor. Um, I also uh, like the variety of lemons we're seeing today in the market. There's a standard lemon which you'll find in just about every grocery store across the country, but we're starting to see more of the Meyer lemon. Sunkist uh, is offering Meyer lemons across the country and I think people are developing a taste for them because it's a cross between a lemon and a mandarin orange. It's a little darker in color, a little thinner skinned, and it has a wonderfully sweet flavor. Pam, these look like some easy ways to squeeze some extra flavor into our favorite dishes. Thanks so much for being here. Goodbye, Laura. For more information, visit sunkist.com.